everyone welcome back to spring web flux essentials so let's go to our security config and we are going to change a couple of things here so we are going to leave the security web filter chain the same way but the difference is that now for the user detail service we are going to return um, exactly what we have here in the database so for that we are going to need a service and if we're going to need a service we are going to need a repository just create a new uh, repository here java class actually this is an interface and let's call it the dojo user repository okay this guy will now extend reactive crud repository And you know the drill, dev dojo user and the ID type, that's integer. Now we only need one method that's going to return a mono of dev dojo user, and this method will be called uh, find by username. And we need one argument that is the username. Cool. Now that we have the this dev doji user repository, uh, we are going to create the service. So just come here and create a new class inside the service dev dojo user service. Okay, so when we create the service, we need to be careful because this service it needs to be uh, it needs to map this uh, map reactive uh user details service actually it needs to be user details reactive user details service not map reactive user details service and the way to do that is just uh implementing reactive user details service uh here we are going to create private final dev dojo user repository and we are going to provide the method implementation. That's just one, find by username. Here we are going to use required args constructor because we would like this to be injected for us. And now we are going to have add service to make this a Spring Bean. Cool. Now here is pretty simple. We are going to receive a username. And we are going to return here dev doji user repository dot find by username and this username. Okay, but we have a problem here. If we try to find this uh, by username, I'm not sure what Spring will do if it doesn't find. Let's uh, leave this way and um, make sure that we later on fix if it does not return unauthorized. And uh, we need a user details. Pretty simple, we just have to cast this to user details dot class. We can use uh, switch if empty and just return uh, one exception. So let's see what will happen. I'm not sure. Cool. Now we have dev dojo user repository, dev dojo user service, and we have to go to security config. So inside security config, we can change this. Uh, I'm going to remove everything because I don't like pieces of unused code. And we have this recorded anyway. And we are going to return here new user. Um, actually, it's not this method. We are not going to use this at all can get rid of this method because we need a new one that will be for the authentication manager so we are going to return a reactive authentication manager in this bin and we can call it authentication manager and here we would like to have injected for us the dev dojo user and let me rename this one just to make sure that we are fully aligned here i'm going to refactor dev dojo user details Dev Dojo user detail service. Dev Dojo uh, user detail service. Now we need uh, just one thing. It's return new user details. Um, not user details. Return. No, yeah, it's user with details. This one. Repository reactive authentication manager. This represents Java more than I think it should. So, with this authentication manager now, when we try to log in, it will come here. It will call the 
user detail service the one that we define it will try to find it by username i'm not sure what happens if it doesn't find because i usually just throw that session straight away but uh, we are going to see what it does now what we have to do is just to encrypt the password i'm lazy and uh, i will just uh, use here one print password encoder dot create delegating password dot encode and i will encode uh dev dojo cool i will just start this application to copy the the password cool you can copy any of them i love this one now i'm going to my database my table and i will create two users so the first one will be uh william and the username will be William. The password will be that big uh, string encrypted. Authorities role and the role is really important here. Uh, role underscore user role underscore uh, admin. So why do we need to set the role here? Because when we are inside the security config, we have this has role. And we are not setting the role here because the role will be set for us. So if you go inside this one and you go inside this one, you will see that it will add the role for us. So that's why we have to add it there because we are not going to call. Um, we are not using memory anymore to do that for us for the roles. Okay, so I think uh, we have one. We need another one. That will represent the the user, so we can call this one um, regular user user, and we are going to copy the same password. That's Dev Dojo, and it will have the role user. Cool. Now that we have both of them, we can just start the application, and let's go to Postman. So we have here inside our anime controller the find all. We have pre-authorized that is uh, requesting admin role. So what we're going to do, we are going to try and get all the animates. Uh, I have off. Uh, this is the wrong one. We don't have any user with dev dojo. So we got unauthorized. That's cool. And now I will try with user and password dev dojo. Okay, access denied. This is what we were looking for. And now William Dev Dojo. And we are able to see everything. Okay, so looks like we didn't have to set anything if we it doesn't find a user. It just returns unauthorized. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, if we come here to for example find by ID uh, with William. It works and user, it also works. So, this is how you can connect your database to find users and have your application secured. So, I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye.